No, goofing off again, eh? How dare you keep me waiting, Haunter, you miserable oaf! I was merely having my midnight tea break. Tea break? Ah, forget it! The success of my plan to control the world depends on you. You're going to steal this! <laughs> yes, I say. I, uh, I say old egg. It looks like uh, an old egg. <laughs> It's a dinosaur egg. It was recently discovered, and it's ready to hatch. <laughs> when I train that creature to do my bidding, the whole world will be forced to give me anything I demand. Steal the egg and bring it to me. I say, I hunt great game. Eggs are not my style. Then try this on for size. <laughs> what a sweet guy, huh, Bangster? Oh, right, he's all heart. I say, one egg coming up. With a vicious dinosaur under my control, I can rule the world with the Iron Fist of Terror! <laughs> I left a note asking you guys to clean up this dump. Instead, I catch you watching the Skelevision. Huh? I, I didn't see any note. <laughs> Come on, if we all work together, we'll clean up in no time. <laughs> Up, let's do something more educational. Uh, uh, like what? Watch the Skelevision. Uh, no. Now that's more like it. <laughs> we interrupt this cartoon for a special bulletin by reporter Jessica Ray. Hey, it's Jessica. I'm with Professor Von Zifflin at his laboratory in San Francisco. Any word yet when the dinosaur egg will hatch? Well, pretty soon, I hope. I have placed the egg in this specially built incubation chamber, which is behind this screen. Hmm. If I'm going to snatch that egg, I'd better work jolly fast. Have you determined what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a Brontosaurus, a huge creature that spent most of its time in the water. Professor Von Zifflin has granted us permission to view the... <laughs> I mean, the egg. You may remove the screen. Oh, no, no, oh, look at this. Gosh. It's the egg. It has vanished. But who could have... There, quick, turn the camera on him. Stop the thief. Hey, it's that no-good haunter. We've got him cornered. That's what you think. He's getting away! Right, oh. <laughs> You're trapped. No bones about that. <laughs> Jessica needs her help. Let's get to the ghost buggy. Can I go too? Can I help? Can I help? Huh? I don't know, Belfry. But I know all about dinosaurs. I've even got a 
collection of old bones. Look! See this? A very rare bone. The scientific name for it is Uthernsay Ifray Ikenche. What's that mean? It means Southern Fried Chicken in Bat Latin. Sorry, Belfry. Maybe next time. Let's go! Go! ever considered taking a bus? Do you see San Francisco yet? Yeah. Here's the Golden Gate Bridge. And, uh, hey, there's someone down there who looks just like you, Jake. Except he looks a little more nerdy. That is me. Give me that. My ghost-sniffing nose is picking up Haunter. He's gotta be down there somewhere. <laughs> Watch it, you big ape! Oh, my ache and shock absorbers! I say, did I just hear a gorilla? The altitude must be getting to me. The egg! And there's Haunter! Otherwise, we wouldn't be Ghostbusters, we'd be Eggbusters. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, very interesting. I have good news and bad news. What's the good news? The egg will hatch within the hour. <laughs> and the bad news? That is the bad news. You see, a baby dinosaur needs its mother, and I don't know what to feed it or how to raise it. Gee, I never thought of that. There must be something we can do. If there was only some way to take the egg back in time so its mother could take care of it, but <laughs> that is impossible. Maybe not, Professor. <laughs> Hurry with the time, Turbo Eddie. Professor Von Sifflin is depending on us. <laughs> he is? Then the professor's not as smart as I thought. <laughs> so this is how San Francisco looked millions of years ago. I don't see any dinosaurs. <laughs> You're gonna see one now, Eddie. Our dinosaur is starting to hatch. Get a load of that! It thinks Tracy is its mommy! Oh no! <laughs> I how about that! The baby's giving mommy a bath! Don't worry, kiddo. We'll find your real mother. Hey, that's a great name! We'll call you Kiddo! <laughs> hey, check that out! If that's where your mom is, we'll find her. <laughs> Looks like Tracy's the only mommy kiddo wants. Do you know what I do? I do people who fail to carry out their missions. But I... This! Mysteria! You take the place of this bumbler, and you'd better not fail me. I have learned that the Ghostbusters travel back in time to find the dinosaur's mother. You 
shall also go back in time. Bring me back an entire army of dinosaurs. <laughs> then no one will dare oppose me. Squeak. You are about to take a trip to the 20th century, Spiny Spine. <laughs> Ooh, that beast is on its way to San Francisco. Now to find some other. Hey, I'm a car, not a bulldozer. We'll go the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> You've got your hands full with kiddo, Tracy. Better stay here. <laughs> and how about clearing out all those broken eggshells off my front seat? They're making me itchy. <laughs> 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 I just hope we find kiddo's mom fast. The sooner we get out of this creepy jungle, the better. <laughs> What's happened to Kiddo? What's going on? <laughs> Another present for Prime Evil. <laughs> we better hurry back to the ghost buggy. Brontosaurus thinks Tracy is her baby. Oh, this is going so well. Primeval's dinosaur army is almost complete. <laughs> Another prize specimen. It's Mysteria. She's captured Kiddo's mom. A job well done, if I say so myself. What did you do with Kiddo and his mother and the other dinosaurs? Oh, they're taking a tour of San Francisco, courtesy of Prime Evils. Uh, ciao, darlings. <coughs> Come on, we gotta get back to the future. I, I mean, the present. Oh, heck, you know what I mean. Reports are coming in from all over San Francisco. The entire city is under attack by the dinosaurs. City officials have urged citizens to remain indoors and not to panic. <laughs> I beg to differ. You had better panic. <laughs> A small taste of what I have in store for the entire world! <laughs> <laughs> It's a 
jolly good thing Primeval gave me another chance. Now I'll show what I can really do. <laughs> Better boy, you are under the power of my monocle beam array. Destroy the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow, Primey was really outdone himself this time. <laughs> We've got to stop Hunter's beam array. Maybe I've got something in my ghost pack I can use. Not much we can do with a rope. What's Tracy gonna do? Looks like he's taking a dip. <laughs> the ghost buggy drives itself almost as well as Tracy does. Almost as well? I drive better. <laughs> I say, yeah! Good job, Tracy! But we're not finished yet! Look! Kiddo's gonna fall! Yeah. Oh. The bridge is gonna go out! Oh. It's Mama Pronto! Yahoo! Kiddo say yeah! Wow, what a lady! Well, guys, everything turned out all right. Yeah, the bridge is repaired. San Francisco is back to normal. And Mama and Kiddo are back together again. Now our only problem is getting these dinosaurs back where they came from. I think I've got that figured out. I've set the time turbo to wide angle. You know, I'm gonna miss those critters. Once they were out of Haunter's power, they were awfully friendly. They were pretty clever, too. I always thought dinosaurs weren't supposed to be very bright. Well, according to what we know, they had extremely small brains. Maybe but they had very big hearts. Bye-bye, kiddo! You fool! You failed again! Do not tolerate failure, you pitiful nerd! I should punish you severely! But <laughs> I shall be merciful. Stay there! Until I decide to release you and thank your lucky stars, you caught me in a good mood. Oh. Yeah, I say, he's all hot, that chap. I say, isn't he? Well, of course he is. Yes. There you are, you see. Oh. And then Mama Brano came out of the ocean, saved the bridge, and rescued her baby. Oh, wow! I wish I could have been here. Kiddo's mom was a real hero, eh? She sure was. But when you think about it, everyone's mom is a hero. Yeah, you're right, Jake. My mom loves me so much she'd move a mountain for me. You know, I wish I could give her some kind of an award. I'm happy you feel that way, Eddie. But the best reward to give our moms is to love them back. <laughs>